Good evening. Welcome back to Craft Check. We've got a little bit of time before St. Patrick's Day, so tonight I'm going to show you two different cocktails uh, that you can use for a St. Patrick's Day party or just um, having a little tipple in your kitchen, whatever you feel like doing this 2019 St. Paddy's Day. So the first one I'm going to show you is called the Campari Stout Flip. It's quite a labour intensive cocktail, but it uses your favourite stout and uh, allows it to really shine through with a bunch of complex flavours. And uh, the second drink is called the Green Beast. It's a lovely, simple cocktail that you can also scale up to a punch for any parties you're throwing. So the Campari Stout Flip is a shaken drink. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with a base 30 millilitres of aged rum. In that, we also need 30 millilitres of Campari. I'm pretty sure this is going to polish off my bottle. So, the tiniest dribble left. It's a result of too many Negronis last summer. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got our rum, got our Campari, and now we need 30 millilitres of your. The stout of your choice. This is Innocent Gun, a stout that's brewed in Irish whiskey barrels. It seemed appropriate. So, 30 millilitres of that. That is beautiful. Probably going to polish off this bottle tonight as well. And <clears throat> lastly, just 15 millilitres of simple syrup. One to one sugar to water. Straight in there. Lovely. And of course, this is a flip. So, the next ingredient, one whole egg. And there we are. As opposed to other cocktails, using just the egg white, this uses the whole thing. Now, to top this off, four dashes of Angostura bitters. There we are. And I say four dashes of allspice dram. Of course, the sugar's stuck to the bottle again. There we go. So we're just going to do the tiniest dribble. There we are. Allspice dram. Get the lovely spicy kick. So we're going to start with the dry shake. On top of the stout, most of these colours are all lovely and dark, apart from the Campari, which is bright red. And so, on top of the egg's froth, you also have the danger. <laughs> Can you hear that bubbling? That's the carbonation of the stout. I'm going to have to let that go very slowly. It's all fine. You should always be ordering messy drinks, drinks that make a mess of the bar when you order them. So that was our dry shake, let's add the ice, give it a second shake, holding it very tightly. Chill this down and give us the dilution, give it very boozy. There we go, and that's freezing cold now. Take a wine glass, strain the whole thing in. Look at that lovely chocolatey colour. Doesn't that look amazing? You could garnish this with some grated nutmeg. I think I'm just going to leave this as is. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Mmm. That's fantastic, yeah. The Campari is normally quite a bully, but that's brought right back to the background. Let all those other flavors come together. I'm just gonna try this myself. Yeah, it's definitely a strong player there. It's got that lovely stout funk. 
and that really shines through on the flip. So that was the Campari Stout Flip. Next, I'm going to show you a really simple drink. This is the Green Beast. And the first thing you need is 30 milliliters of pastis. However, you can use any absinthe you might have lying around. Uh, presumably, the Green Fairy would be a better one. Hence the name. We do have all sorts of crazy colors with absinthe here. So, all right. 30. And you can see the pastis is already reacting with the water there and turning it that cloudy colour. If you remember my pastis and rinses episode, that's what it does. 30 mils of lime juice. So this is equal parts uh, for these first three ingredients. So it'd be really simple to scale up into a punch bowl. Just a dab more there. This is not looking too appetizing at the moment. I'll wait till we add 30 milliliters of simple syrup. There we are. And, yep, I would say that's about right because the next ingredient is water. Simple as, we'll say four ounces or 120 milliliters. So if you're making this in a punch bowl, you'd want four parts to three parts of the rest ingredients. What I like to do is take my shaking tin here, add one ice cube and just some water to leave it to chill away, and then we'll strain it in with a hawthorn. Right to the top, so we've got this lovely pearlescent effect. Again, uh, tell you what. Muddle that somewhat with a straw, just give that a quick stir to blend all the ingredients together and I can already tell this is going to be lovely and refreshing but on top of that let's garnish it by just tucking in some cucumber slices on the side there and let's have a taste cheers oh that's excellent it's like it's like an absinthe daiquiri I mean literally with these ingredients I think this would be a smash at any punch bowl, um, it's a lovely spring flavours. You would think pastis or absinthe at this kind of level would be overpowering, but all the ingredients really do bring it into line. It's just a hint of the anise flavour. It plays really well, I'm really happy with that. So there you are, there's the Campari Stout Flip and the Green Beast. And the rest of the stout, which I'm now going to summarily polish off because I don't let any of this go to waste. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment on what you think I should do next. And uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy St. Patrick's Day and the upcoming episodes of Crap Check. Cheers. <laughs>